Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at the most easiest way to create your Bitmoji pointer, change the Bitmoji to halo with different colors, and also use this technique to focus your cursor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. In order to achieve the cool Bitmoji pointer, your halo pointer, along with your cursor focus, all with one click of a button, you have to do a couple of installations. Not to worry, this installation is absolutely free. Your first step is to open your web browser and navigate to the link that has been provided in your description box below. That link brings you right into this website. Not to worry, it's not about organic chemistry we are talking today. This website is created by Professor Luc Bouvier, who teaches organic chemistry. But because of his interest in computers and technology in teaching, he created this amazing tool for all of us educators. So thank you, Professor. I am really enjoying this tool. Please keep in mind, this tool is only for Windows users. So the first step in your two-step installation process is to click on autohotkey.com and install autohotkey. So let me go ahead and click on that. That brings you right into this website. Autohotkey is a free open source scripting language for Windows that allows users to easily create small to complex script for all kinds of tasks such as filters, auto clicking and even macros. Professor Luke has used this to create this wonderful tool for educators like you and me. I can't thank him enough and I'm really using this tool every single day in my virtual teaching just so that I can have my students' attention. Let's go ahead and download AutoHotKey by clicking on this. So here is my AutoHotKey in my download folders. You can install it by simply clicking on it. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to click installation now. But it's a simple user-friendly process, and all you have to do is click on it to install. Once you have installed your auto hotkey, let's go back to Professor Luke's website. Scroll all the way down until you find Cursor Highlighter version 2.2. And you will click on this download.ahk script for version 2.2 of Cursor Highlighter. So make sure you click on this one. So once I click on this, this will take me to a Google Drive. The installation script has been made available to us in the Google Drive. So let's go ahead and click download. So here I have my cursor highlighter 2.2. I'm simply going to go ahead and click on it. And it says the setting files name dot cursor highlighter settings dot INI should be in the same folder as the script, but it's not detected. Do you want to create a new file with default settings? If you select no, the script will exit. Make sure you go ahead and click yes. And as soon as I click yes, here I have my halo. The best part of it is the halo kind of follows your mouse wherever you go. So if I'm increasing or decreasing the file, if I right click, left click, the halo is always there. That's the good part. Now let's go ahead and see where the actual magic happens. So once you have installed your cursor highlighter, opened it, and once you see your halo around your mouse, let's go ahead all the way to the right hand side until we find our taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and click on my taskbar and you will see a simple arrow with a circle right here. Let's go ahead and right click on it. And here you have your various settings. You can exit your cursor highlighter. These are the settings that I will be talking about in a minute. You can switch to a picture cursor. So when I click on this, you see a pen has popped up right away and I'm going to show you how you can change the pen to various Bitmoji images that you want. I'm going to go back and look for that cursor highlighter round icon, right click. And when I click on this, it switches back to my halo. And when I click on cursor focus, and you, as you can see, it's focusing my desktop. Go back to our taskbar, 
click for the cursor highlighter, right click, settings. Now this is where the actual magic happens. You can go ahead and change the type of the cursor when you start the program. You can actually go ahead and select what you want. You want a color highlight, picture file, or focus. Here is your highlight settings. As you can see, I can increase the width. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the width and the height. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the height as well. And as you can see, now it's an oval shape. You can keep increasing the width. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to 120. I think I like that. 120 by 120. There you go, this is pretty good size. You can also go ahead and change what color halo you want when you left click and right click. So let me go ahead and click on that. Let's say do nothing. No, I want to go ahead and show a different highlight when I click. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to, let's say green. I'm going to click OK and let's go ahead and click left. There you go. There's my green halo. For the right click, by default, do nothing is checked, but I want to go ahead and check, show a different highlight because I want my students to know when I'm right clicking and left clicking. So let me click on right here. As you can see, this is a dark color, but let me go ahead and change it. I'm simply going to click on these colors and I'm going to pick a blue and I'm going to click OK. And when I right click, there I have it. You can change the capacity, you can change the width and the height. But the best part of it is the picture settings. Let me go ahead and click on that. This is my favorite. As you can see, this is unchecked. So let me go ahead, go back to my general and click on picture file. Now come back to my picture settings. As you can see, as soon as I click on the picture file, the pen is the default picture that this picks up, but you can go ahead and change it to anything that you want. Let me go ahead and click on my picture settings. And I'm going to custom pick the file that I want. So I'm going to click on picture file. I'm going to go ahead and browse. On my desktop, I have created a folder that says cursors. And I have some PNG files that I would like to go ahead and pick as my picture images. I'm going to go ahead and pick this yellow pointer. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, here I have it. You can increase the height. I'm going to increase the width. There you go. You can increase the height. If you don't want it, you can reduce it further. I'm going to reduce the width as well so it can look good. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. You can change the offset. Do you want it very close or off your mouse? As you can see, it's moving X and Y. This is pretty good. I like it. You can also customize what happens when you left click and right click. I'm going to leave it for nothing for now. But if you want to go ahead and change it to a different picture, I usually change it to pictures based on what class I'm teaching. So let me go ahead and show you one more time. You click on browse. Remember, these have to be a PNG files. So let me go ahead and pick an apple here. I'm going to pick an apple. There you go. Boom. I'm right here. So all you have to do is pick a PNG file without a background and pick that as your picture file to change this into your Bitmoji cursor. Let me go back and change it to the red one for now. There I have it. Now this is your focus settings. If you want a focus setting, go back, click on your focus, and there you have it. I would highly recommend using your hotkeys. What I have done is to toggle between my cursor highlighter, I'm simply, I'm going to create some hotkeys for myself, but that's totally up to you what you want to do. I'm going to click Alt and C because it's a cursor. Switch to highlight, Alt and H because it's highlight. Switch to picture, Alt and P for picture. And focus, Alt and F for focus. And I'm gonna go ahead and save, 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 and then done. Now let's go ahead and check it out. Alt and H for highlight, there you go. Alt and P for picture, Alt and F for focus. Alt and F, right back to my Bitmoji. You can customize this Bitmojis. I sometimes use my own face just to make the class fun and interactive, but this is totally up to you. But please keep in mind, the pictures that you use have to be a PNG, so you don't have any background while you're moving your mouse. 
I hope you learned something new today. I hope you like this video. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really like to shift from Bitmoji to Halo to Focus while teaching their classes. Again, thank you, Professor Luc Bouvier, for this wonderful, amazing tool. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.